Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I offer you math strategies for grades three through five. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I'm the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. And I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you so you can get out there and help your students. In today's episode, we're going to break down the fourth grade skill of 10 times greater or 10 times less by moving a digit from one place to the other and seeing how that affects its value. And after that, I'll point you in the direction for more support for you and your students. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. So 10 times greater or less. We've got a number here. The number is 1,200. 247. Now before we even get started, let's go ahead and make sure that we understand the places that are occurring in this, okay? So the seven is in the ones place, the four is in the tens place, and the two is in the hundreds place. Those three ones, tens, and hundreds are part of the ones period. It's like their own special neighborhood. Okay, this is the ones period. And then past the comma, we're entering into a new period known as the thousands period. And this digit one is in the one thousands place. Cool, we've labeled our place value. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about what happens to a digit when we move it from one place to the next. So let's pick the digit four, okay? All right, so the digit four, in 1,247 has a value of what? Of 40, right? This four has a value of 40. That's the value. Okay, so now we're going to play around with this four and make it 10 times greater. We're going to put it into a number where we can make that four 10 times greater. So I'm gonna make two little things, right? Over here, we're going to make it 10 times greater. And then over here, we'll make it 10 times less. To make this digit four 10 times greater, we need to move it from the tens place into the next place, which is the hundreds place. So if we had a number, I'm gonna make it another four digit number, we need to have the four go into the hundreds place right there. When we do that, the value of this four is now 400. That's 10 times greater because 40 times 10 is 400. And now we can just kind of use other digits here. So three, let's say two and nine. So I could now say that the number 3,429, the digit four in that number is 10 times greater than the digit four in the original number that we were given, 1,247. Now we have a mission to make the digit four 10 times less. So we're gonna back it up into the ones place. So I'm actually just gonna make this a two digit number here. That's fine. And the four needs to shift from our original number, it's in the tens place, to the ones place, right here. And now I can put any other digit in the tens place. Um, it could even just be the number four, but let's make it fancy, let's make it the digit eight, 84. So now this four has a value of four. So now the four in 84 is 10 times less than the value of the four in 1,247. So that's all we're doing here is shifting a digit from one to the next, all right? So now let's move on to another example right here. Okay, we've got the example 18,623, and I'm gonna pick another example here. Let me go ahead and we'll go for this one, okay? It could be any digit. Um, a lot of times in fourth grade, problems will say that we're working with a certain digit. You gotta locate that digit. So then you would need to locate that digit, but for this case, let's say that the direction said we're working with the digit one, okay? Digit one, now first thing I always say, let's go label our places. So we've got the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, that's in the ones period. Then we've got the one thousands place and the ten thousands place. Awesome, so the digit one is in the ten thousands place. That means that this one has a value, current value of 10,000. Okay, now let's make it 10 times greater and 10 times less. So because it needs to be 10 times greater, we actually need to go over into the 
hundred thousandths place. So let me set my number up. And in the hundred thousandths place right here, we need the digit one and we fill in the blanks with whatever else we need. I'm actually gonna use some of the digits that are up there. Three. And now we'll say nine on the end, okay? So the value of this one is now 100,000. It's 100,000, which is 10 times greater than the digit one in 18,623. Now let's go 10 times less. So it's, that means that it's going from the 10 thousands place, moving that digit one down to the one thousands place. I'm gonna keep it a six digit number. Okay, and now the digit one needs to go right there in the one thousands place, and I can just kind of fill in everything else. Nine, nine, zero, let's say. Okay, only thing that we need is for that digit one to be 10 times less. 10 times less than our original number. So in the number 861,990, that digit one has a value of 1,000, which is 10 times less than the value of our one in the original number, 18,623. Let's do one more. Last one, we've got 409,719. Let's imagine that the direction said, hmm, let's do the seven. Okay, let's, we'll work with the digit seven. Okay, so now 10 times greater and 10 times less. All right, let's label our places. We've got the ones, tens, hundreds. Those are the digits in the ones period. Then we've got the one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Now all we're focusing on is that digit seven. It's currently in the hundreds place. It has a value of 700. We need to create a number where the digit seven is 10 times greater. So we need to move it into what place? Yeah, the one thousands place, also known as the thousands place. I like to call it the one thousands place so it follows the pattern of the ones, tens, hundreds as we go on. Okay, so our seven needs to go right there and you can go ahead and just put any other digits that you want. I'm gonna make it, um, I'm actually gonna make it 7,163. Look at that, I might have a smaller number here but my digit seven has a value of 7,000. And that is 10 times greater than the digit seven in the number above our original number. Now let's make it 10 times less, which means that the seven needs to go from our hundreds place into the tens place, right? So I could even just say 79, 10 times less. Okay, now I hope that this explanation helped you to help it to click a little bit more. Let me go ahead and show you some more content that I have available for you. All right, so here we are at McCarthyMathAcademy.com and the first place that I want you to go to is to your freebies. Click on Math Songs right there. And that loads, you'll notice right here, the second song currently that's there is the place value song. You'll also notice that I'm wearing a shirt that kind of looks like what's going on right there. And I created this place value song because I know that students, there's str some students are really struggling to understand places that numbers are in and their value. So I created this to help. And I want to play a little clip today of what we worked. Best. Hey. You gotta know place value. Name it in each place and its value. I see you dancing on the decimal. Let's take it to the left. Ones, tens, hundreds. A comma splits the periods. One thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Comma. Soon you'll learn to follow the pattern. And keep it grow millions, billions, trillions. We'll back it up to the decimal and take it to the right now. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Go again. Awesome. So there was the part of the place value song. It walks you through the smallest thing of understanding what a digit is, the name of each place, the name of each period that you're in, the purpose of the comma, all that stuff. So it actually, this is great for grades three through five. And um, yeah, so students are loving that. So definitely check that song out so you can kind of connect what we were doing. The other thing that I want to mention is the taking on the best free trial, which at the end of this episode, there should be another episode that pops up um, of how to access that free trial. You can click that. So right now, let's imagine that I've got this and it's taking on the best for Florida's best standards. 
And what we're gonna do is click on fourth grade. And right in here, number sense and operations. And you notice right here, this free trial, you get access to one standard and the standard that you have access to is the one that you need for this video. So that's awesome. So let's take a look at this. And here we have a video with foundational skills, basically going over what you and I just did just now with a printable right here. Um, and this right here, we got 10 times greater. Let me pull up the sheet so you can kind of see. Here's the sheet that we're working on. Write a number that has the digit five in a place that is 10 times greater than the digit five in the original number that's given. Okay, and this is a video lesson. So just like what you and I were doing, I'm doing that same thing with students for this video lesson. All right, let's go back. So 10 times greater, here's also 10 times less. And the silver resources you can explore in there because you have complimentary access here. Take a look at the printables and the answer key and this math misconception mystery. Tons of stuff geared to what we were just working on with 10 times greater and 10 times less. I also want to point out the gold resources, which is with the gold plan. This is the most popular plan that if you go, there's a mini assessment. You can take a look at that with an answer key. And right here, McCarthy Math 155. If I go to fourth grade and place value, which you also have access to this in your free trial. So check it out. Look at this, we got day one, 10 times greater or less, day two, 10 times greater or less. So tons of content to help you if you feel like you need some more support with this skill. So I absolutely encourage you to check out that taking on the best free trial, to explore taking on the best, see if it's the right fit for you. Tons of schools and teachers have seen tremendous growth and learning gains with their students because they've been using this consistently. So I highly recommend it. And my whole goal was to make this affordable both for parents and and for teachers and frankly for schools to purchase for their teachers. So I've got individual plans available, I've got school-wide plans available, definitely check it out. And if you're looking for just an individual membership, like you're a parent or a teacher, please know that I've made this affordable and the cost of a taking on the best membership is a fraction of the price of what tutoring costs. So definitely check that out. I love putting out free content for you because I love making math make sense. So if you found value in this video, I would really appreciate your favor of hitting that like button and also subscribing. It helps me to continue to bring free content like this to you to help you understand this math so that you can help your students and help your kids out there. And also by subscribing to my YouTube channel, you are the first to know when I drop a new video. So thank you so much for subscribing and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.